So welcome to the best time of year to visit Santa Ponza. Welcome to the Feste de Rey in Jaume or the San Jaume Festival. Now these mock battles are part of Santa Ponza's history and take place across a whole 10 days of free events happening in Santa Ponza. So in this video I'm going to explain what this is all about and how you can enjoy an amazing holiday over here and some fantastic events too. So you can see I'm standing behind a very beautiful and very busy Santa Ponza beach but we're actually going to head now right behind the beach when the majority of the events do take place of the Festas Rey in Jaume. So the San Jaume Fiesta celebrates the arrival of King Jaume I back in 1229 and his Catalan troops who came to fight the Arabs here in Mallorca and establish Christianity. And you can see that this is a tradition that is widely celebrated every single year and it has been for the past 100 years. Are you ready to oh. fight? Now I've just come up from behind the beach here and you can see that this area behind the beach, the walkway behind the beach has been taken over by a medieval market today. I'm down here on the final day of the San Jaume Fiestas, but what else is going on during this first week of September? Well, on the Saturday, on the very first day of the San Jaume festivals, you're going to find a giant's parade taking place. It's where they get the huge giant's house and they parade through the streets. It's really quite spectacular to see, but this isn't one of the really main key events which you must go to if you're coming over here. Now, if you are on holiday during the San Jaume fe festival, then I do really recommend you attending the Corre Foc. It's otherwise known as a, a fire run. It is a, an amazing night and it's filled with fireworks, it's filled with demonies roaming through the streets or well roaming down this area here that you can see behind me along Santa Ponza Beach and it finishes as well with a huge fireworks show and then a concert too so definitely worth attending regardless of whether you're over here with your family or, or small kids as well it's just something fantastic to see and it's so iconic here in Santa Ponza for this first week of September. So on the Saturday night is the big night here for the Festas Rey and Jaume. It's when the medieval battle takes place. Now on the days leading up to this you're going to find a few other events as well taking place over at Calau den Pelether which is the beach just a little bit further around the coast here in Santa Ponza. You're also going to find as well events taking place on that night but really this event culminates by the battles on the beaches, by the skirmishes between the Moors and the Christians. It's a lot of fun come down, check it out and take part in this really historical event. Now aside from the medieval market on the last day and concerts taking place throughout the week on the main stage, the celebrations end in a huge firework display on the Sunday evening which takes place at around 10.30pm. But for now, I'm going to take a walk through the market here and we're going to see what, what it's like. We're also going to see whether we come across any other processions that are taking place too. Now, the medieval market normally starts up on the Thursday. They start to set it up after the Corrie Fork and it runs through to the Sunday as well. And you can see that this is a fantastic place to come and pick up some souvenirs if you're over here on the holiday. Now, of course, this market has more of a medieval theme to it. It ties in with the whole Fiestas Rey and Jaume event. But of course, you're going to be able to pick up some handicrafts, some locally made products too. And I would say that if you are shopping over here in Mallorca, then these locally made products are going to be the best that you can get. Now, just check this out. If you're over here and you're wanting to take back with you some fouette, which is uh, this Spanish sausage that you can see here, you can actually get them flavoured too. You can also pick up some locally made wines as well. And also maybe grab yourself a shot of vermouth or a cup of sangria too. Now they do normally have an evening market here over in Santa Ponza during the summer months which takes place on the streets outside the beach. It's much smaller than this though so if you are into your markets, if maybe you don't want to go and visit any of the other markets on the island then definitely try and tie in your holiday with this particular festival on the first week of September. 
And I can see that the market is decorated as well with the Moors and Christians banners. But it's packed full of stalls here. And it's a great atmosphere and particularly on the final day as well. You're going to get a lot of locals coming down here on the Sunday. Just taking a little look to my right here, you can see that they've got another huge area of seating. I suspect there's been quite a party down here last night following the Moors and Christians at a battle on the beach. But you've got no shortage of places to come down for lunch here. Check this out, look. They've got the kebabs on the go as well, they've got the sangria. And lots of beer too. Now keep watching because as we go through this video, I'm going to show you as well the other side of this festival here and what you can enjoy as soon as we leave this market. Also, as you come through the medieval market, make sure you step off the beach. Right behind the medieval marketplace, you will also find an open air museum with examples of armour and torture devices used back in the 13th century. And I suspect as well, look, they've got activities here, including some archery too. It's all happening down here in Santa Ponza. This whole area behind the beach, which I don't think they had last year, has reopened to show you the very, very best of the history and of the festival. Let's head on back to the market. Look, this is one of the main food areas down this side of the beach. There's plenty of seating too, and plenty of drinks also. And also, it is a Sunday today. It's always a big paella day on a Sunday. If you want to get yourself a portion of paella for lunch, well, Check this out, you know where to come. There's always a paella store on the far end of the market or on the entrance of the medieval market. Definitely worth picking up a plate. Okay, so this was the medieval market. Let's just have a quick look at the beach here. So if you're a first time visitor or you're new to my channel and you haven't seen what Santa Ponza is like, let's take a quick look at the beach. So we're just coming up past here, one of the many beach bars that you're going to find over here on Santa Ponza Beach. Make sure you check out my other videos from the channel as well. It's a great sunset beach bar here as well, definitely worth coming down over the summer months. Now as we come away from the medieval market, check out the beach here in Santa Ponza. It is huge and this beach actually runs in two halves as well. You can see how busy it just isn't actually for the beginning of September. Let's take a quick walk across the bridge here and check out the other side of this huge beach. So straight in front of me here, we're heading towards the resort centre, which has all the bars and the restaurants and the nightlife that you can enjoy over here in Santa Ponza. I'll put a few links to videos that I've made over here in the resort for you to go and check out. But this is the second ha half of the beach. Now, this is a fantastic family holiday destination. Check how beautiful the beach is down here. So you can see why this is one of the most popular holiday resorts over here in Santa Ponza. Just check out this beach. Now, in the distance here, there's so much more than just the beach. You can see the Cormoran cruise coming in. I do sell tickets for this boat trip. I, wish, I shall put a link below to those tickets as well if you'd like to book that boat trip too. Okay, so I also have the ultimate guide to Santa Ponza on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com. So do go ahead and check that out with other ideas of what's actually going Going on down here in the resort and also for things to do down here too. Now you can see why this has to be one of the best beach resorts to come to if you're visiting us here. You've got the perfect combination of tradition and of a fantastic beach holiday too. Now I'm going to put in the description the text below as well some of the videos which you may be interested in watching. Don't forget too to join us on the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca Under the Sun and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already 
I'm often down on this part of the world for live streams too, so do check those out as we go on through the year. Okay, everyone, I hope this video is proving useful to help you make the decision to come and see us over here in Santa Ponza. Thanks very much for watching. I shall see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.